So this was the original Bluebird house that uh, I was using. And it's the standard Bluebird house. And it worked okay. And then I grad. So I graduated to a Peterson house, Bluebird house. And it has uh, two methods to be open. One through the front with the little pin. And it rotates to the front and also the roof. So if we climb up one more level, we can see the roof uh, on a hinge and we can see the inside of the house and uh, we can see the vent holes here don't have screens so they probably should get a mesh on that to prevent uh, flies from coming in and there's no drainage holes in the bottom so that's another thing to add to the house so this house is uh, going to be modified to make it a brooding house. So the door, we're going to swap the door out and put a winter door where the hole is at the bottom. And they can go in and out. And then there's going to be some additional insulation put on to these sides. Uh, last year I had a clutch, a couple eggs. It got too cold for them and they froze and died. So hopefully we can avoid that same situation this year and then over the winter I'm not sure if any birds are using it so I'd like to have a special door where I can uh, actually see have a sort of window there'll be a door and then there'll be a window where I can see if there's any birds in it and what kind of bird so I'd, I'd prefer not to scare the birds by opening it in the winter if that's possible here are some of the plans for the uh, Peterson house. It looks like this. Mine had the additional piece here to sort of guard against other uh, the house wrens maybe. I've never had a house wren go in one of these uh, Peterson houses. The little ones they're definitely going in but not this one so uh, but I haven't been using it for many years. Um, you know, it, these give you the plans if you want to go ahead and try and build it. Um, and you can get an idea of how to assemble it. Um, and then I opted for this actual hole size. And my winter door is going to have this size circular opening without being uh, this oval. And I'm hoping to keep the hole as small as possible for them to be able to get in and prevent the cold air from coming in as well. So here is uh, more of, of how to put it together, put all the pieces together we talked about. You know, we talked about this base doesn't have any drainage. And when you build it, you might want to cut these two lower corners here in order to have at least the carbon dioxide have a route to escape uh, you know you're essentially cutting a little hole here so that the, in the lowest spot uh, the carbon dioxide has a way to escape and then we also talked about these uh, vent holes which should have a little mesh screen on top of them uh, and then I added putting a hinge back here instead of these screws so that you can actually and, and having this B piece attached to the F piece so that when you lift it you're just lifting all of these put together or these two pieces put together and looking down into it. Right now the door is attached by some screws and a pivot And uh, that system's going to change so that we, when we change the door, um, you know, it's not dealing with screws. It'll be pins, quick release pins. So this is one website that you can uh, get all the dimensions for and how to put it together for the house. And there's also a PDF version 
uh, that gives you all the same sort of information and it gives you when you start with a board which cuts go where in the house so you have the floor here which is a three long by uh, two and a quarter uh, with the angled piece and so on and so forth so here the the vent holes are maybe in a different spot um, so you can get some ideas here are the websites that I just mentioned and um, see you in the next video when I have the new door made <laughs>